Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, happy Monday, everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Axis of Trader.com nightly wrap up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. So, the, the market did pretty much what I thought was going to do today. Um, we had a lot of weakness in the NASDAQ uh, composite. The great part about that is nobody even noticed. If you really didn't pay attention, you probably didn't see how the strongest names on this whole run up or actually this whole recovery since March. They had really rough sessions, but the fact that the diamonds, and we talked about this in the weekend video, the diamonds broke out today, uh, the spies continued to break out today. Nobody really talked about it. If you go to like, you know, any really, any financial outlet, you know, you're gonna see weakness in the NASDAQ composite, but nobody's gonna really dwell on it. And that's a reason why this market continues to be strong. There were technical back tests today on a lot of names. Um, you can make an argument, very, very aggressive sell-offs, especially in the morning, uh, on beta, okay? And the most amazing part was, it was masked by so much strength in other sectors that nobody even noticed it. And the greatest part about the sell-off was, not only the NASDAQ, well, let's talk about the Qs, not only did the Qs hold and reclaim this 10-day moving average, but they held and reclaimed the five. So this was one of the more structured and really good days for the bull, okay? Um, they made new highs in the Dow, they made new highs on the S&P. If you look at the Russell, uh, again, continues to make new highs off this break from, the, from uh, the, the range that started from the June the 8th. But again, the greatest part about the sell-off is nobody even noticed. And it's again, the old adage uh, that comes to mind. If a tree falls into the forest, and nobody is around to see it fall, does it make a sound? And that's what's great about this tape. There's rotation in the market. Uh, you saw a lot of really aggressive strength today uh, in airlines, right? Uh, in, excuse me, in, um, in airline names, uh, Dallas, uh, and um, let's see here, and uh, JetBlue, um, really, really strong moves. And you can kind of go through the whole group. Boeing obviously had a really, really good move today. We had a pretty good pivot today in the room as well. But again, this was kind of the prototypical bull market effect, uh, rotation from strength to weakness, back into strength. And if you look at where all the stocks were, especially the stocks that I follow day in, day out, they started in the middle of the range. We, we talked about that. Uh, you know, on the video last night, we talked about that in morning strategy. And when you look at where they are today, right? Like look at Amazon, okay? They started in the middle of the range, came in, reclaimed the 10, we're about to clean, reclaim the uh, five day moving average as well. Uh, you look at Facebook, same thing, right? They took it down, held a five day bounce. You look at Apple, same thing. They, saw, they tried to sell off the stock, reclaimed the five day bounce. So the bulls did a lot of good things here today. Um, I think the headlines slowly but surely are starting to get very, very muted, okay? It doesn't make a difference how significant the headline is. The market is just rotation-based. Uh, even the weak names are starting to rally. And when you get a market that goes from strength to weakness, right, and they pull those weak names out, then you have a macro bull run. And that's kind of where we are right now. So until things change, we are going to be uh, in this area. Of course, you're going to have days that uh, beta is going to be weak. And there's going to be days that beta is going to be incredibly strong. And today, the most amazing part about today's session was um, I was planning on trading, you know, kind of non-beta names. And the most amazing part was the value today was actually in beta. So um, today was pretty productive. I, I was very, very pleased uh, how much value we actually had today. I, th I think that was the, the, the key part. Like I really didn't have any expectation into today just because of uh, how so many names were in the middle of the range, but the downside pivots were very, very aggressive. Uh, the upside pivots were very, very aggressive. Uh, the mid cap stocks were aggressive, just an aggressive session. And I, I think again, if you are a perma bear, okay, I think that's the best way of saying it. I, again, I don't know what it's going to take 
uh, to shift the sentiment. I just don't know. And the most important part is you're going to run out of money trying to bet against this this moving train, and that's and that's the reality. Until again, until we close below this whole rising support that started in you know the middle of March. Again, how you know it's very very tough. Uh, to bet against this tape, but that's exactly what a lot of people are doing. Uh, again, very, very hated market. Again, the irrationality uh, or the irrational uh, consensus is, of course, it can't continue. Hence, it's continuing. Um, and again, like I said, day by day, right? Day by day, trade by trade. You don't need to trade every single day. Uh, the small caps are working. The mid caps are working. Beta, uh, depending which side of the day it is, uh, can give you really, really exaggerated moves. And we'll talk about the pivots in a second. But again, you don't need to trade every single day, especially if you're an options player. Again, what you know, what are you fighting against? You're fighting against uh, time. Okay, you're fighting against uh, price action. So it's very, very important that you, you know, you really understand that you can't trade every single day. You need measured potential. You need expansion and channels. And if you're disciplined enough. Uh, to understand that, then you can wait and kind of pick your spots in this market. And this tape, again, it doesn't really take a long time uh, for your sweet spot. And it doesn't make a difference what type of trader you are. It really doesn't take a long time for your sweet spot uh, to get recognized. It could come today, it could come tomorrow, it could come the next day, but it will come. That's the whole point of a strong, aggressive market. So, you know, again, if you look at the pivots today, um, you know, if you look at the pivots today, again, we, we discussed this. I go, look, today we discussed this on the video last night. Uh, we got to be a little more patient with bait. Again, everything was in the middle of the ranges. Uh, we have to look at other things instead. And again, we got an incredible good surprise. Uh, beta was very strong today and very weak today, uh, which is which was excellent. That's exactly what you want. You want to have the ability to trade both sides of the market, and you want to have trade the both sides of the market with extreme conditions and extreme uh, aggressive conviction. And that's the name of the game. So let's talk about it. And number one, uh, going into tomorrow again, you have to be bullish at, at any given point. Uh, the bulls can wake up again. And when I mean the bulls, again, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking from the beta area. Uh, the Dow was up 350 points today. Uh, the NASDAQ composite was down 50. Again, I'm talking about the NASDAQ composite. It's very, very, it's not hard. Let's just say this much. It's not hard for the Dow, okay, uh, to really be very, very strong. It's only 30 of them, okay? So if a Boeing is strong, the Dow Jones is going to be strong. If Apple is strong, the Dow Jones is going to be strong. So it doesn't take uh, a big, you know, a big contingent of, of stocks to be pushing higher. And that's why, again, I think the whole area of people looking and kind of identifying the Dow Jones as the market, I think it's like 1980, okay? It's all about technology. It's all about market leadership. It's all about beta. And again, even if you don't trade the likes of Amazons and Apples and Facebook, again, that separates um, speculation money from non-speculation money. And when these stocks are tradable, especially obviously to the upside, there's going to be no fear and there's going to be a lot of FOMO cases and a lot of uneducated, underfunded traders. So really good market. Again, market continues to be good. Uh, this is my first day back in three days. Again, I had some power, uh, power issues along with hundreds of thousands of other people, and hopefully you guys are back. We're slowly getting back, but again, the market continues to be uh, really, really good. So let's talk about it. So this was definitely uh, the first move of the day, uh, and KLA, again, it's not Tesla. Don't compare it to Tesla. They got some news, blah, 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 orders in some trucks. Again, raise your hand if you own a, NK, a, a, a Nikola, right? Yeah, neither, neither neither do I. But anyway, again, it doesn't make a difference. NKLA, $40 needs to build. Here is NKLA, a very, very strong move. So here is the 40 bucks, right? Here is the $40 right here. And once it got above 40, just just absolutely exploded. I mean, went as high as to almost 46 today. Um, I still like it tomorrow. I think uh, you have to use any opportunities tomorrow uh, to buy dips into rising 60 minute support. Again, this is 60 minute support right here. If you guys notice, right, this orange line, every single time it comes down to 60 minute support, it bounces. Comes down, bounces, comes down, bounces, comes down, bounces, comes down, bounces. So again, if we get an open tomorrow, uh, a, a negative open on rising 60 minute support, uh, this is obviously uh, the play. Uh, Lululemon never got to 344. Again, NKLA take on the way up. Uh, NVIDIA, again, he was a perfect example of a stock that was very, very strong, and then the stock was very, very weak. And again, beta uh, started rallying, and then they all got pulled, right? So 53.75, 54 uh, needs to build. Here was NVIDIA. Okay, so here was NVIDIA. Here was the 50, uh, 50, 
let's just call it 54. 54 uh, went to 56.30s before all of beta got pulled. So nice little move there. Uh, Apple was pretty good. I caught a piece of Apple. Uh, 452.50 uh, needs to build for potential 455 push. Here was Apple, and look where it stopped, right? So here was the 452.50, and look at the high of the day, 455.10. Again, stocks trade from supply to supply. And again, if you don't understand where supply is, you are trading blind. So it's so important to understand where your supply zones are. Again, I didn't pick 455 out of the hat. This is where the supply is. So it's very, very important uh, to understand where they are. So Apple was good. Uh, Beyond got destroyed. Congratulations for all you guys who got destroyed. Uh, forgot to destroy. <laughs> Congratulations for all you guys who caught BYND. Uh, we talked about this on the weekend update as well. Uh, 130 held twice. If it builds below, can flush. Murder. Absolutely murdered. So here is BYND. And again, the macro area was 130. We talked about this on the weekend update, right? 130, 130, broke 130 and just got absolutely murdered. Went down to 124 and change. Uh, Tesla was definitely the move of the day. Um, I still like lower prices for this thing. Uh, 14.35, if it builds below, can flush. Experienced traders only. Again, guys, the reason why I say, I keep on reiterating the point, experienced traders only. Tesla is an, an incredibly aggressive vehicle right now. No pun intended, okay? It was aggressive when I was started trading this thing in the 200s. And now it's like aggressive on steroids. So if you are a new trader, and I get it, you know, you can catch 30 points, 50 points. I get all of that. Uh, it's sexy, right? It's hot. People are talking about it, okay? I get it. But again, if you're an ex if you're not an experienced trader, when I say experience, I, I try to use the I try to at least use the word five to seven years in. Try not to trade this thing. You're not going to have any risk tolerance to really see the, tr the, the true nature of measured potential in the stock. You're going to sell early. You're going to buy late. You're going to be all over the place. There's so much better value for inexperienced traders than Tesla. I get it. You're blinded by the lights. You're blinded by the MC Hammer shiny pants. I get all that. It's Times Square. It's nuts. It's inviting. It's sexy. It's exciting. It's just not for you. Again, for the, those experienced traders, this was definitely uh, the move of the day. 1435, if it builds below, can flush. Uh, Tesla got hit, right? Tesla got hit. So here's the 1435. Uh, that was the sneaky pivot right over here. It took out 415 and it traded all the way down to 1385. And I like it again. The only reason why it stopped today, guys, was you know the, the rising Bollinger. This rising Bollinger gets violated tomorrow, and it's going to go down to 1365. And if 1365 gets hit, look how much room it is to the downside. Again, the only curveball is that, again, the chatter, the p possibility of an S&P inclusion at any time, that's the only reason not to be very, very aggressive, especially overnight, uh, just to kind of limit uh, your exposure. But again, monster move on Tesla. Uh, Groupon didn't quite get down to the, I, I really wanted to buy this thing on a dip. Uh, Groupon 24.44 for a possible bounce area off rising support. That's again, what we talk about. Uh, it traded down to like 2457 and bounce kind of I was kind of a little bit disappointed that it didn't get down to the rising support so here is rising support right here it just got down within 12 cents and you know it you know bounced back you know it bounced back like 70 80 cents I still like it for tomorrow uh, but I definitely want to see this upside confirmation for a longer term. Uh, potential move, but we just kind of missed the entry on Groupon. Uh, Boeing was big. I caught a piece of Boeing as well. Uh, 176 needs to build. Uh, Boeing had a great move. Again, all these airlines were very strong. So uh, 176 was macro, right? That was the macro area right over here, the uh, 7557. It started building 56. Again, stocks just don't stop randomly. It stopped right to the next supply zone, almost at 80 bucks. That's the 50 day supply. Uh, if Boeing reclaims 50 tomorrow, you could see a move into the 185s, 187s. Uh, some pretty aggressive call buyers came in today, especially uh, the highlighted off the 190 weekly. So there's definitely buyers there. And again, if the rotation uh, continues to go, it should be uh, pretty good. Facebook was a good move as well. Uh, 269 needs to build. Here was Facebook. All right, so here was Facebook. Here was the 269. See this whole channel here, right? 269, it just exploded, uh, went to almost 274 again before uh, all these stocks got pulled. So again, there was just literally value. There was value everywhere today. And this is what I liked about the day. Uh, NVIDIA take on the way up, Facebook take on the way up, Apple take on the way up. 
uh, Beyond, take on the way down. Boeing, take on the way up. Tesla, take on the way down. You get you get the point. A good good two way action uh, trading today. Again, fantastic value. 180 on deck on Boeing. Uh, so it was good. It was really really good. Again, here was the levels. 1390 next stop went to 1385 and 1366 is left. Uh, Nvidia didn't give a big move. There was a sneaky pivot to the upside. Uh, 5175, 52. Uh, it only went to like, you know, only went to like 452.50 is really not a big move before uh, it turned back around. And that was it. So uh, SRNE was pretty good as well. We saw really aggressive option flow come in on SRNE as much as uh, they were, you know, buying, they were buying the December 25s. I mean, the stock was at 15 and change when they started out. So really big move uh, there as well. So good session, you know, really, really good session. Um, again, I, I would love to see beta kind of wake up tomorrow, okay? If you look at a lot of their channels and you could see it, you, don't, you know, you don't have to be a, a master technician to see it. They're all still, uh, you know, really in the bottom of the ranges. So I, I wouldn't be shocked if we saw some more value on beta to the downside, but I would love to see kind of them wake up, start reclaiming channels and kind of joining the party. Because again, for me, it's much better when there's a macro Ex, you know, crazy buying spree in beta than like IBM waking up, right? As, as everybody can imagine. So a uh, good start to the day, a uh, good start to the week. Hope everybody is doing well and with God's help, I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care, guys. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.